Measuring almost 300 feet long, the Green Peril, the Great Green Dragon Overlord, was one of the most terrifying dragons on the planet of Kryn. So welcome back guys to my channel, in this video we are going to talk about the Dragon Overlord Brilliannix, so hit the intro and let's begin. Braille Tharnox, or Braille for short, is another one of the dragon overlords that came over from the alien dragon world. After the Chaos War, following the trail of Malistrix, Braille finds her way from the alien dragon world to Kryn in the year 388 AC. Traveling for almost a year, she found her way from the distant eastern oceans to the shores of Ancelon. The journey had made Braille lean and muscular, and once she did reach the continent of Ancelon, she began exploring the eastern section. The green dragon briefly met up with Malistrix on arrival, and Malistrix urged her to seek out her own realm and subdue the native dragons. Heeding the advice of her fellow alien dragon, Braille made her way to Qualanesti and the high Karolish mountains. Throughout the years of the Dragon Purge, Brailianix killed all of the lesser dragons in her realm, and by lesser dragons I mean the Krinish dragons. Now there were a few minor exceptions to this, and those were the dragons who offered to serve her. She grew considerably in size and power, and before long Braille declared herself the Green Dragon Overlord and Quilanesti had become her domain. Twenty years later, Brailianix discovered how to create her own dragon skull totem, and with that power, she enlarged her territory in Quilanesti Forest, so that the woods enveloped the kingdom's borders, and the size of her domain grew substantially. She then worked to force the elves into submission, and begin her search for the Tower of Wayworth in order to plunder its magical items. Now I do want to point out that Brailinex was infatuated with magical artifacts. All she wanted was to grow her magical abilities and her magical artifact collection, using the power from these artifacts to make her more powerful. Now the Dragon Overlord created her lair in the deepest part of the Quilanesti forest. The great dragon made her lair impenetrable to anyone other than herself, other dragon overlords or her chosen servants. And in the year 412 AC, she sent her dragons on a series of raids throughout her domain, as well as sending her dragons against the dwarves of Thorbadin in order to conquer the underground realm. However, to no one's surprise, the dwarves managed to hold against the dragons, and she suffered a defeat in the conquering of Thorbadin. And a year later, Malistrix called an end for the Dragon Purge, and Brailianix, already fat on power, continued to search for magic, and she did follow Malice's rules of no longer hunting down dragons. Now in the next few years, Braille's search for magic continued unhindered until she was recorded requested to aid Malistrix and the other dragon overlords with her ascension to godhood. The intervention of the Heroes of the Heart resulted in the defeat of the overlords, and Braille was driven off. Four years later, in an act of revenge for his involvement with the Heroes of the Heart, and because of her lust for knowledge about the Tower of Wayworth, Braille had her minions capture Palin Majer. The mage was tortured for details about the magic and the tower, but was released when it was discovered that he had no useful information. And in a further act of vengeance, she sent her minions to destroy Palin's academy for sorcery near Solas. As Braille's minion assaulted the academy of sorcery, Palin's own son, Ulin Majer, trying to use flash powder to defend himself, accidentally ended up destroying the academy and Braille's minion within it. Now the Dark Knights also served Braille, and they are the one who had the physical control over the Quilanesti elves. They were garrisoned there, they patrolled the streets, and they made sure that everything went as planned. Braille forced the elves into submission using the Speaker of the Sun, Gilthas Pathfinder, who was the child of Laurana and Tanis, the heroes of the lands. The elves were forced to serve Braille, except for a group called the Hooded, who willingly offered their support to the dragon. 
the band of warriors led by the fighter Jendaron believed that serving the dragon overlord was the only way for the elves to continue to survive, and they all served the dragon even against their own kin. Now during the War of the Souls in the year 421 AC, Brelianex continued her games with the elves, becoming extremely interested when she learned that Palin Majer had arrived in Qualanosti and that he is in a position of a certain magical artifact, sending her draconian servant Gruul to liaison with Marshal Alexus Maden in order to have the head of Leorana brought before her, along with the artifact. She also plotted to have her minions march on the elven city. At the same time, Brail had her forces storm the Citadel of Light on Shalsi Island and devastated the area. When neither the artifact nor the head of Lorana was sent to Brail, the green dragon herself appeared in the skies over Qualinost with her minions in tow. The elves led by Lorana attacked Brail and the golden general herself using the magical sword Lost Star enthralled the dragon, and whilst the elves used ballistras and magical rope to track Braille, using a dragon lance, Lerana pierced Braille's head, and in her death throes, Braille destroyed the Tower of the Sun and Lerana along with it. The great dragon then fell to the ground, collapsing the underground tunnels that have been built by the elves and the dwarves, which created deep fissures where Qualanus once stood. The destruction of Braille came at a great cost. The great elven capital of Qualinost quickly started to fill with water from the White Rage River, drowning the entire area and creating the lake with Braille's corpse and all the others in the bottom. Qualinost was no more, and only Nalis Aren or the Lake of Death in common remained. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about Braille, the mightiest green dragon of them all, and it took one of the greatest heroes of all time to take her down. We'll see you in the next video travelers and have a lovely day.